Good morning friends, welcome to our Geo Akashganga channel. In your previous lecture, we already seen the introduction of urban geography, their meaning and definition. Now, today's lecture, we see the urban morphology and models of urban structure. So now, let us see the urban morphology and models of urban structure. Study of urban geography, a various geographer study of spatial arrangement of urban city their structure, shape, and various functions in urban area. The forces underlying the pattern of land use, process of urban growth, and accessibility within and outward of the city. It can be generalized a number of theories. It is true to a large extent that each city possesses a unique combination of various views of land but to some degree a common pattern is visible. The commonly referred pattern are concentric, then second sector and last one multiple nuclei. This model are known as model of city structure or theories explaining urban morphology. Let us see the first one concentric zone model. This model propounded by sociologist Ernest Burgess in year 1925 and thus this model also known as the Burgess model. It is one of the earliest theoretical models to explain urban social structure. This model based on human ecology, theories done by Burgess and applied on Chicago. Burgess was the first to give the explanation of distribution of social groups within urban areas. This concentric ring model depicts urban land use in concentric rings. Let us see in the diagram, first zone is CBD, second zone light manufacturing, third low class residential, fourth medium class residential and last one commuter zone. Let us see the assumptions. So what is assumptions? Assumption is a thing that is accepted as a true or as certain to happen without proof. First one, there is a uniform land surface like plain, plateau. Second, there is a pre-competition for space. Third, there is universal accessibility in a single central city. Fourth, there is a private ownership of property. Fifth, the city area and population is expanding and last one there is no concentration of heavy industries in area let us see in next slide the principles in this theory burgess told about the interaction of people with their various economic social and political organization create a radial expansion outward from the center and form a series of concentric zones. The central business district was in the middle of the modern and the city expanded in ring with different land use. So the Burgess create a five zone according to their land use. First one CBD, then second zone of transition, then third zone of independent worker homes, then fourth zone of better residence, and last one commuter zone. Let us see first zone CBD. The first and innermost ring is CBD, also called loop in Chicago, where most of the tertiary employment is located like commercial, social and civic life. And in this region, administrative houses, offices and most of shops are found. And where the urban transportation infrastructure is converging and it's making this zone is most accessible and most of the people come from commuter zone to CBD region because of availability of employment and jobs. Next one, zone of transition or light manufacturing. Second ring is immediately adjacent to the CBD zone where many industrial activities located to take advantage of nearby labor and markets. Further, 
most transport terminals mainly port site and railways are located adjacent to the central area and in this ring slum area occupied by a lower income social groups which is work in cbd area next one the zone of workers or low class residential this zone is gradually been reconverted to other uses by expanding manufacturing or industrial activity it contains the poorest segment of the urban population and mostly immigrants living in low cost housing this ring consists of small expansive houses of working man who had originally lived in social ring next one zone 4 the fourth ring consists of houses of middle class and professional people some single family houses and some high class apartment building will be located in this ring residential zone dominated by the working class and those who were able to move anyway from the previous zone this zone has the advantage of being located near the major zone of employment and thus represent a low cost location for the working class the last and outermost ring consists of the commuter zone which is predominantly an affluent suburban area it represent higher quality housing linked with longer community cost mainly high class and expensive housing in a rural suburbanized setting now let us see the criticism the model has been challenged by many contemporary urban geographers first it describes the particular american geography where the inner city is poor while suburbs are wealthy second one physical features land made restrict growth of certain sector hill and water features may make some location usually describable for residential purpose third decentralization of shops manufacturing industries and entertainment fourth many new housing estates were built on edge of city in britain and last one it does not address local urban politics and force of globalization let us see what type of question asking in net and upsc examination question number first who propounded the concentric zone model option number first homer hoyt option number second harris and ullman third walter crichler and fourth ew burgess homer hoyt is an economist who published the sector model in year 1939 next one harris and ullman who propounded a multiple nuclei model in year 1945 next walter crichler who propounded the central place theory in year 1933 and last one and correct answer is ew burgess who propounded the concentric zone model in year 1925 let us see the question number second third ring consists of option number first central business district light manufacturing high class residential and fourth low class residential and the correct answer is low class residential and you already learned in the previous slide question number 3 match list first with list second and select the correct answer from the codes given below in the list first they given a geographer and in the list second they given a theories so in this given geographer and theories you will know about the ew burgess who propounded the concentric zone model so this correct answer is first right so this third and fourth option is automatically cancelled and you already learned in the previous slide harris and ullman who propounded a multiple nuclei model so this correct answer is fourth so 
Second option is a correct answer. Jean Gottman coined the term megalopolis. M. Jefferson coined the term primate city. E. W. Burgess propounded a concentric zone model. And last one, Harris and Ullman, who propounded the multiple nuclei model. If this video helped you in your study, then please do like. And if you not already subscribed, then do subscribe. If you didn't like the content, give a thumbs down. Okay, see you with next lecture. Thank you.